In Adobe Photoshop, we are going to extend this background by using AI technology. And in order to do that, we need to go to Photoshop beta. So you want to make sure you go to the Creative Cloud app, go to the beta apps and download Photoshop beta. Now, once you've got that open, you can see I have this square image. Now, if I wanted to extend this background, then before I would have to use the eyedropper tool, take a color, extend this in, and it took forever. Whereas now, all I have to do in Photoshop beta is go to the rectangle marquee tool, draw over the left, and we get generative fill pop up. We will select that and type in a prompt. So my prompt is going to be blue background. And we can press generate and it's going to use AI technology to basically create a background for us. And there you go, you can see blue background was the prompt and this is what has been created. Now we can scrub through these to find one that we prefer, but personally, I think they all look great. I am gonna go for number two though. Now I can do the same thing on the other side. So we'll highlight, use generative fill, use blue background generate and there we go we have the blue background now filled in so we've got different options different variations i personally like number two i think that looks really great so this is where we started and by using the generative fill option we now have extended our background and this looks great we can also do this for other images as well so as you can see there is this picture of me this was taken in the wrong aspect ratio and i want it to be wide so i'm just going to use the rectangle tool or the rectangular marquee tool draw it on the left and we'll use generative fill. So my prompt for this is going to be graffiti wall and we'll press generate. And there you go, you can see it has given us a graffiti wall. It's done exactly what we need it to do, but let's look at the other options. I think they look great, but let's try something different. So rather than graffiti wall, expand scene. <laughs> there we go, so these are our options. So you can see these are not great options, but this one looks pretty good. So I am just going to remove this person. So remove person and generate. You can see it's actually done a really good job of expanding the floor and expanding the wall. It's just added a person in the foreground. So we're going to remove that person. There we go. So it's removed that person. I'm also just going to clean this up as well. So I'm going to highlight that and type remove. Select generate and we'll see what happens. And there we go. This is where we started. And then we used AI to get to this point. So we've completely extended the scene without having to do any of the heavy lifting. So download Photoshop beta and use the generative fill option to create some really awesome set extensions.